Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to remove cluttered backgrounds from your images using nothing more than your camera. So this, almost an island. There's a little stretch of land still connecting it to Anacortes Island. I've been kind of eyeballing this for a while. I mean, oh yeah, the fresh air up here. Definitely. And a beautiful afternoon here. Perfect to try and do a little bit of photography. Now if you look, again, I'm in a very cluttered environment. And if you've been watching my adventure up here in the Pacific Northwest, you know that I've been struggling quite a bit. I've been struggling trying to photograph the forest because I can't find anything that really stands out because pretty much these straight trees you see here, that's what you get. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on a little bit more intimate photography. I'm going to try and capture some stock images that are very close, very detailed. And in the process, we're going to be able to abstract a lot of this background. We're going to be able to minimize it so that we don't have a lot of work to do later in Lightroom and whatever we choose as our subject stands out. I just have to find something that is going to, that's a good subject for us to photograph. Whew. And yes, I am, I am going uphill right now. I may have, may have, just found a new sunset location. explain to you guys a little bit about how this trick is going to work. It all has to do with focus. So stick your thumb out, close one eye and focus on your thumb. Without moving your eye away from your thumb, notice that the background around it is all blurry. Now shift your focus to the background and you'll notice that your thumb is blurry. It all has to do with focus and that's what we're going to be doing with the camera. We're going to be using both focal length and aperture to control what is in focus and what is not in focus. And what is not in focus is going to become less of a distraction. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the camera. There's some sunlight grazing the moss on this little uh, piece of wood, whatever, bark coming out of the tree. I'm going to leave this area over here off to the left open as copy space for graphic artists. So let's go ahead and set the camera and see if we can get this shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two separate images. I'm going to take one with the aperture as wide open as possible and another one with it as, as closed as far as possible. So I'm in AV mode right now. All right, here we go, f3.5. And now, same focus, f22. Take a look at these two images. At f3.5, the background is blurry. At f22, the background is more in focus. The smaller the aperture, the greater the area that is in focus, also known as the depth of field. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna, do, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna use the focal length of the lens. So I'm gonna change my f-stop to what I normally do, which is around f9. Focus on that stump. Normal. And now, let's use the zoom lens. This is actually what I think is the most effective way to do it. Take a look at that background. So 
So yes, playing around with the aperture does control a little bit about minimizing or blurring out the background. But for me, using a long lens does the best work. Now, I might still have to do a little bit of work when you go into Lightroom, kind of magnify it and look at the blurred area. It may almost look like there'd be noise to it, maybe. You might have to use a little bit of the denoise tool to kind of simmer that down just a little bit to get rid of that grainy look and really to smooth out that background. Well, I want to continue going around here and see if I can get a couple more shots with that blurred background. Now, again, I prefer having the long, the long lens method as opposed to the aperture method. I think you get much better results. Before we get any farther in this episode, I just want to give a shout out to Chris Werzosian. Now, he runs the Instagram channel, Scenic Songwriter. He's got some pretty cool stuff, and I'll be honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out how he does some of his filming. So why don't you guys uh, check him out, again, at Scenic Songwriter on Instagram. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bonus here. We're going to attempt a sunset panorama. So I've been working on my Lightroom and Photoshop skills. I've been studying what types of landscape images sell very well, and I've noticed that many these days have a bit of a dramatic edit to them. I'm starting to add a few dramatically edited images to my portfolio. If they sell well, I'll share with all of you these techniques in a future episode. think that's going to be it for tonight hey everybody thank you for tuning in really appreciate it make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you know when i put up new episodes remember to never stop exploring and i'll see you all in the next episode